Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. Thanks so much for joining me today. I want to share with you my absolute favorite time-saving photography keyboard shortcuts in Photoshop. That was like quite a long intro actually. So uh, yeah, sorry about that. We've got a camera above us today. So we're gonna discuss keyboard shortcuts and basically how we can save time by learning a few of them. You just take a little bit of time to integrate keyboard shortcuts into your workflow, but when you do, man, it's worth it. So keyboard shortcuts that I use all the time might help you out in following full edits as well, because often I don't run through what I'm actually pressing. This is gonna be the kind of holy grail for my favorites. You might have your own, that's absolutely fine, uh, but these are mine, okay? If you haven't already, please do make sure that you press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. I may well enrich your life in some way, shape or form, and it would be wonderful to have you come along for the ride. So if you can, it'd be nice to see you again soon, you know? So I've got up in front of me a, um, a edited file of Bright in Photoshop. So we can see Photoshop is here in front of us, nice and clear. And essentially what I wanna do is talk you through these different keyboard shortcuts. And uh, we're gonna do that with the help of the camera above and also the camera to the side. So if I end up not posting for a while, it's probably because this has fallen on my head and I'm in the hospital. That was a joke, by the way, not a very funny one. Okay, so keyboard shortcuts. There are some basic ones which I think everybody should know. If you've done our Photoshop for Beginners course, then you probably will already know all of these, um, but I think it's worthwhile starting here. So let's say, for example, you are on a particular tool and you have done your cropping, you're, you're ready to go, you're on your Zoom tool, it doesn't matter what you're on, and you just wanna get back to the normal pointer tool, the move tool, all you need to do is press V on the keyboard. So pressing V on the keyboard will take you back to that handy little move tool, which is so helpful. We've got some other tool shortcuts that I tend to use all of the time and I think they're worth sharing. So we have M. M is your rectangular marquee tool. All your other marquee tools, they all live here, um, but M will let you build your marquees. Now let's say you've made a selection. This is a selection here, by the way. If you've made a selection with these marching ants, you think, Jesus, I need to get these to go away. What on earth can I do? Well, aside from going onto your marquee tool and clicking it once, the other way is to do a command D. Now, as you can see in front, we've got a Mac keyboard with us here. This is a Apple keyboard. If you do have a Windows, that's fine. All these keyboard shortcuts are the same. You just need to do some substitution. So when I say Command, you press Control. When I say Option, you press Alt. And when I say Control, you right click. That's the curveball there, but that's the only differences, okay? Uh, I'll make sure they're somewhere visible, including in the description and blog post that will be related to this video. So we've got our V tool, we've gone through our M tool, we've gone through our D select, which is command D. What if, what if you wanted to use the brush tool? Brush tool very frequently used for our masks and all things masking. If you don't know what they are, Photoshop for Beginners course will help you out on that. If you just wanna watch a quick YouTube video on it, I will link that one above. So let's grab our brush by pressing the B. Now I've got this little kind of no entry sign coming up. It's because I'm not clicking on a layer. Click on a layer and we get our brush. So you guys see me do this really quick uh, brush changey thing all of the time. This really quick brush changey thing is such a time saver, it is unreal. So if you're not doing that, it's worth learning. Now, remember your window substitutes, guys, if you need them, but your brush uh, controls for this are to do on a Mac, control and option. Control and option will bring up that kind of option for us, but we then need to click and hold with our mouse. We click and hold, we pull right for bigger, left for smaller, up for softer and down for harder. Go ahead and practice that as often as you can until it becomes second nature. Genuinely, it will transform your Photoshop experience. If you're on a Windows, that is of course Alt and right click based on our substitutions. If you're using a tablet like a Wacom, you can still do all of that, just do your keyboard shortcuts, press that pen down and pull it and you'll get the same result. So that is our brush shortcut there. Absolutely worth everybody knowing. Let's say for example, that we wanna slap this on at a uh, uh, arbitrary flow of 80%. We just press eight, with our keyboard, the number eight, and we switch to 80%. Let's say, for example, that you do not have a stylus and pen connected, in which case, go ahead and unselect that. Now, if I press eight, opacity will drop to eight. 
80%. So zero is 100%, but then you can mix and match your numbers to get any percentage that you want. Let's say, for example, we wanted to switch our flow to 100. All we need to do is hold down shift and click O and the opposite one will switch. The same works for if that button is selected. So back to 100, we're all ready to go. Next keyboard shortcut, which I think is actually invaluable, is the zooming in one. So this is something that I do all of the time. I hold down Alt or Option on my keyboard and I go ahead and scroll on my mouse. You do need a scrolly mouse to be able to do this, but that is also such a time saver. Just saying. Next one that I tend to do reasonably regularly is I often want to just kind of see where what one layer is doing um, in the layer stack. So if we've got multiple layers going on, I want to just see this layer instead of going through and turning all these layers off to get to that point. All we need to do is hold down option on the keyboard, that's Alt for Windows, and click on the eye icon next to it. The eye icon, the visibility icon, will enable and show the, just the layer and we click it again to reapply the other layers. That was really bad English. To enable the other layers. Same thing kind of is true for masks, because if we just want to see what the mask actually is, if we hold down option on the keyboard and click just the mask, we get a visible view of just the mask and we can go and amend that. If we want to get back, we hold down option and we click the mask again and that gets us back there. So that can be super helpful. A keyboard shortcut that we all use with masks whilst we're on this topic is the invert. If you followed me for a while, you will know we invert masks on the daily, in which case we go ahead and do a command I, so a command I. Now you can see because of how I've got the camera set up, which hands I use for these things. You can use whatever you wanna use genuinely in terms of your keyboard, whatever you're happiest with. So another keyboard shortcut that I think um, is really important and I use it very, very, very regularly, I would say at least every edit, if not multiple times every edit, would be the content aware fill. So um, again, this is covered in the Photoshop for Beginners course in a little bit more detail, but we can go ahead and grab a tool, whether it's the lasso or a quick selection tool, it doesn't matter what it is. And we can go ahead and circle a particular element in the image. For example, let's go ahead and very badly circle this. If I want that to be removed, I could go ahead and get my clone stamp tool. I could go and get my spot removal tool. Five ways to remove things in Photoshop, I will link that video above. But there's so many tools I could use, but often the quickest way is to just do shift backspace. Now Dan, always says I'm mad for using this shift when there's a shift right here, but for me, I'm left-handed, so I find it easier to do the other way. So we wanna make sure that this is set to content aware and then I don't even press okay, I just hit enter. So it's shift backspace enter, and I do that very, very quickly to fill specific areas. And that's just basically what I do. And then to deselect, if you just wanna end there, command D, we've already gone through, and that takes us back to the beginning. Now I like that bokeh, so I'm putting it back in. And you just saw me do another keyboard shortcut. So if you don't know, I don't know why you wouldn't know, but if you don't know, command Z, or control Z on a Windows, is the universal sign and symbol for undo. It works in nearly every application including, you know, Facebook statuses, for example. Command Z is the undo. So I just undid that by pressing Command Z. If I wanted to redo that, I press Command Shift and Z. So I do that as this thumb, this finger, and then a Z. So you've got undo, Command Z, and redo, Command Shift Z. Okay, let's say for example, you wanted to copy the pixels within that selection. Let's do a different keyboard shortcut. So we're gonna Command D to deselect that and then we're gonna do Command A. Think A for all. Command A will select all of the pixels within that particular layer. So that's this layer here. And then we can do our three other ones, which again, universal. Command C to copy. Command X to cut and Command V to paste. Those three keyboard shortcuts will also speed up your life everywhere else. So that's a bonus for us, I think, to be honest. So that is the best keyboard shortcuts that I think are most useful to everybody, basically in the whole world, for Photoshop. If you learn all of those keyboard shortcuts, which I will drop into a blog post below, you probably will speed up your Photoshop life quite considerably.
Also, you might find you just enjoy it. If you haven't already, please do make sure you press the subscribe button because I really appreciate it and it would be nice. And if you have any questions on keyboard shortcuts, please do drop them in the comments box below. With that all said and done, I'll see you all again really, really soon.